Okay, moving on with turn number four with Arjun. I did go back and review what happened in turn number two, and I just simply, I said things wrong, but I played it out correctly. When I wrote down the W here, I put a hyphen through place monster, and I said out loud that there's no monster that gets placed when you draw a white tile. I, I just, my, my mouth said the wrong things, but my brain was thinking correctly because I did go on and draw the new spider and it was so the point is it was it was played out correctly that kind of thing really worries me because um, if I had forgot to put down that monster in my opinion the game is ruined and I would just have to start over uh, some people would just say well just draw another monster and it's all the same well it's not the same because then the monsters come out in the wrong order and and to me that's that's a big deal I'm kind of a stickler for rules when it comes to that kind of thing but luckily, I, like I said, I looked back, it was all done correctly, so we can move on. So uh, Arjun, starting off turn number four, uh, so he slowed, so our options are limited. Um, one thing we can do is we can move twice to an unexplored edge and then just have him explore and bring out a new monster, and that will be his turn. And that's not a terrible idea because, you know, we need to open up uh, the tiles and, you know, explore and get items and everything. But I think more important than that will be to use his uh, precise strike to take out this blazing skeleton. Now, it kind of sucks because if we move down here, um, we are not going to be on an unexplored edge. But uh, I think trying to get rid of this blazing skeleton is important enough that we're going to do that. And he does have the movement even though he's slowed. He can still go one, two. He can still go corner to corner, corner to corner to make that move. So one, two, gets us down here next to the Blazing Skeleton. He'll use that precise strike with the plus 11, and he only has to roll a two. So let's hope he doesn't roll a one. So four, that's a really low roll, but it's good enough for the precise strike. So... Uh, we attack an adjacent monster, and if we miss, we don't have to flip it over, but we did hit, so we flip over the power and take out the Blazing Skeleton. Really nice to have that off the table. And we take the Blazing Skeleton, we put it into our experience pile. So here we have four, here we have five, so we almost have enough experience to cancel two encounters. Let's go ahead and update for Arjun. So he doesn't need a surge, obviously. He moved, he attacked, he will gain treasure. So let's see what kind of treasure we get. And it's a lucky find. Draw three treasures, keep one, discard the others. So this one is not an item, so it doesn't do any good for us in terms of our 12, but it allows us to draw three more treasures. So one, two, three. Well, none of these are items, so none of these, let me just make sure that, okay. So none of these are items, none of these are going to help us get towards our 12, so let's see which one of these. Um, these are useless, in my opinion. This we don't have, so both of these are completely useless to us, so we discard these two. Because it says draw three and keep one, discard the other two, so those are gone. And now we'll play this one immediately. We get to flip up one of our unused powers. Uh, be really nice to have both of these. <laughs> the hit points and the plus 11. Let's go... Hmm, let's, let's get this one back because there, if we get another Blazing Skeleton or Wraith or something like that, we're going to need that. So that one goes away, and it's not a treasure item again, so it doesn't count towards the 12, unfortunately. Now, Arjun cannot explore, but his hero phase has ended, so that slowed goes away. So we get rid of that. Now, since he can't explore, this time I'll try to say my words correctly. Since he can't explore, he's not drawing a tile, not drawing a monster, but we will have a forced encounter. And that zombie's gone. And the blazing skeleton's gone. So let's draw the encounter and see what we get. Hopefully it's nothing terrible. Spirit of Doom. Each hero can. It doesn't say you must. 
Each hero can immediately move up to his or her speed. After this move, each hero on a tile with no monsters takes one damage. Uh, well, okay, so this a little bit sucks, but maybe it's not so terrible. Um, we don't have any monsters out right now, so we're both going to have to take one damage no matter where we move. So is it worth canceling this to save one hit point on each of us, or should we take the damage and maybe even uh, utilize some movement here? So let's think about this, because one thing, we have to get back to the start tile in order to lead the dungeon. So let's see, where can we move? Now that his slowness is wear worn off, he can move five. One, two, three, four, five. And then Alyssa can move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that'll take her all the way over here. And then we can start exploring this way, just to kind of, so, so we don't get so far over in this direction and then have to work our way back. I think maybe we'll go ahead and do that. So Arjun's going to move five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And Alyssa's going to move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right there. So this goes away, and now we both take one damage because we're on a tile with no monsters. That's going to take me uh, Arjun down to eight, Alyssa down to four. So that is the encounter played out. There's no monsters to activate. So we're going to go into Alyssa's turn. And there's no monsters on the board right now. So let's kind of slide all this up that way so we can start making room on that side. So Alyssa has, uh, she doesn't need a surge. And she doesn't even have to move. She can just stay where she's at and scout. So let's go ahead and do that. She's going to explore over here. So she's going to get a Black triangle, which means a, an encounter and a monster. So we're going to get a wolf. So we'll place the wolf on the bone pile of the newly placed tile. And let's update for Alyssa. So she didn't move. She didn't attack. She does not get a treasure. But she did explore. She got a black tile, a wolf. Um, encounter, wolf. All right, so let's draw from the encounter deck and see what she gets. Summon, cir summoning circle, place a new monster adjacent to the active hero. We're going to go ahead and let that play because uh, we need monsters. <laughs> so we're going to draw another monster. And it's a skeleton. Right as I made the decision, I was like, oh my god, I hope I don't draw a wraith. So adjacent to, that can be anywhere. I'll put it here. Uh, because that's adjacent to Alyssa, and it's also adjacent to Arjun, so win-win. Now the only thing that sucks a little bit about that is that now we're going to have two monsters activate. Instead of just one. But uh, I think it's worth it. So the wolf activates. Um, if the wolf is adjacent, it's not. If the wolf is within two, it is. It moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks with a pounce. That's clearly going to be Alyssa. So this is a thing, like normally, you know, monsters move bone pile to bone pile. But in this context, it doesn't make sense to do that. It has to be adjacent, so we're just going to move it forward one more. And it's going to attack with the pounce, which gets a plus seven, does one damage if it hits and slows her down. Really hope it misses. And eight, I think it just hits. Eight plus seven is 15, yep, it just hits. So that's gonna slow Alyssa down. Mm, we can make it miss, because it is adjacent, but that seems like we should save this for a stronger hit. So we'll place this slowed up here to remember that she's slowed down. She takes one damage, bringing her down to three. So let's update for um, Alyssa. Did I just totally forget to update everything for Arjun? I'm super confused on this turn. Isn't this turn five? I think... I 
I think I've messed up this game. Uh, I'm confused as to what's going on. Or is this, maybe this is turn four. This must be turn four. I thought it was turn five. So, okay, I think I'm fine. I'm just really messed. I'm just really confusing myself. Yeah, this is turn four. I was thinking it was turn five for some reason. I looked down, I'm like, why isn't anything updated for Arjun? But never mind, this is turn four. Uh, get it together. Okay. So, the wolf attacked. Now, and it slows her down, so she's now slowed. And I can't remember if I updated, but I'll review the video. If I didn't take off the hit point, I will do it after I review the video, but I think I already did. So now the skeleton will activate. If the skeleton is adjacent, and it is, it will attack with the scimitar. It happens to be adjacent to both of us. So I'm going to say that it's going to attack Arjun because Arjun has a higher AC and he has more hit points. And I feel like that's perfectly fair to, because uh, the game has very little strategy, so you have to use whatever little strategic bits you can when they do present themselves. So it's adjacent, and it's going to attack with the scimitar, plus 7. Arjun, 13, that's going to hit, because that's going to be a total of 20. So Arjun takes 1 damage, taking him down to 7. And that is the end of turn number 4, and I'm going to review the video to see if I took down a hit point. I can't remember if I did or not.